Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to set the default applications by group policy. Sometimes because of the Windows update, the default application change and I see that make a problem. For that case, we need to create a XML file and push it by group policy. The XML file is exported by this command. I will also paste it in the descriptions. The XML will be saved in the C drive, a temp directory is created, and this is the name of the file. I need to run the command prompt as administrator and paste the command here. This one create an XML file for me and export all the default applications. So you need to set the application you want to set as a default here and then clean up the file. I will show how to. I'm going to see temp directory so it's not created yet. So successfully created and the file is here and just created. I will open the XML file with notepad. Since I want to just keep some uh, some extension files, it need to be opened by X by Internet Explorer. I'm going to clean up and remove the rest. So in this file, it include all the extensions. I need to just keep the HTTP, HTTPS, URL, and I believe that's it. And HTML. So as you can see, the HTML is Internet Explorer. I will clean up the rest and save the file. So I don't need the rest. I just need to keep the URL as well here. Okay, now my file is clean and ready. I will keep just HTTP, HTTPS, URL, HTML, and HTM. I need to save it in format of XML. So I call it default ie.xml. Save type should be all file, and I will save it. So my file is now here. I need to move this file and put it somewhere on the network. That file, that network directory should be shared. My DC name is DC1 and I already create a shared directory. I will copy the file and put it there. Okay, now I'm done with my client side. I'm going on the server side and now need to go to group policy and this policy must be applied to the computers not the users so this is the resources OU and I just this is the name it might be different on your computer on your active directory so right click create a GPO and I will call it set default Browser to IE. So this is just a name. Now I need to edit and push the policy and define it. Right click and go to edit. So since this, this is the computer configuration, you need to choose the policy from here, not the user configuration. We need to go to administrative template, uh, Windows component, 
uh, you need to find file explorer okay file explorer so the path is here policy administrative template windows component file explorer and find this one set default association configuration file i will double click and enable these rules now i need to go back on on the shared directory and find the file i copied so i'm going here backslash backslash dc1 is the name of my active directory this is the folder i already shared and this is the file i created on my client side so one more time that's the file if you need to add something else you need to add it here so the, the directory i will copy the directory and paste it to the policy it should be include the exact file name so it should be copy and paste it here dot xml and apply now my policy is enabled and applied I need to push it and test it. So I will do the GP update for the slash force. Now my policy is forced from Active Directory. I go back to my server. Go back to my, uh, sorry, to go back to my client side. Minimize this one and for demonstration i'm going back to my default application and change this one to google chrome okay now it's applied to google chrome i can do the same thing as a gp update for the slash force on my client side uh, sometimes also you need to restart the computer or sign out and sign back in to policy take effect especially for group policy i will do a sign out Okay, now I go back to default application. Okay, as you can see, the policy is applied and pushed from the server side. So one more time, you can get the add more file to this and keep more file or more applications based on the real requirement like avi if you want to push the avi and you need to set the application to that one and then export it and do the same thing for any uh, anything else i hope you learned something from my channel please subscribe thanks for watching